I want to say that the story of Nigeria is definitely much better with us all. I once heard that um, uh, the local governments were supposed to be the heartbeat, the pillars of our community. And so, our job is to celebrate everybody. We barely have time for ourselves. So these three days, for me, is an awesome retreat for us to recharge, inspire, encourage one another, but be more resolute that with us, Nigeria must be in safe hands. And so, a big gratitude to our principals, the Honorable Chairman and Chairwoman in different local governments, our state governors, national officers. I said the best for the last, the President, Commander in Chief of this great republic called ours, His Excellency. President Wamadu Buhari. I say a big thank you for holding us up. I know you would agree with me that uh, the job of Nigeria, ruling Nigeria, it's not an easy one. And the relative peace that we do enjoy here. I want to say a big thank you to the leadership of our great country. So, I want to say enjoy your stay. I hope by the time we all live here, we'll be much better. We're one big family. You know, not South, East, West. Nigeria is truly blessed. Looking at this hall, I just give God all the glory. Tomorrow, definitely, it's going to be better than today. Thank you. Enjoy your YouTube. When vice chairmen come together from the north, south, east, and west of Nigeria, there is that bond that brings about progress, that brings about unity, and translates into national progress for the third republic of Nigeria. We thank you so much once again, and we appreciate our uh, national chairman. <laughs> Few of us, Honorable Princess, 
Labanjo Fulishande, who is today the President National Chairman, who was my deputy. <laughs> and Honorable Gora, who was the Executive Vice Chairman of Madogi Local Government, and the Barista Salisu, and other people who had put our heads together and said to ourselves, Yo, you look. God at those days when you say Vice Chairman of Media Council has spent time, under our watch you can no longer be a spent time. <laughs> now we are going to put up an a strong association. And this association, let me make it clear to everyone of us here. We didn't form an association to antagonize anybody or to not share with anybody. We formed this association basically to see the welfare of our people various local government across Nigeria. This association was formed for us to know that injustice done to man in Paragamunda is injustice done to man in the German Square Area Council. So therefore, once every year, we come together like this, rub minds, discuss issues as they affect us at the Front Area Council. I'll give you a typical example. I was in Aquaibon. Um, no, yeah, in Aquaibon. I can't remember precisely, but in the South South. When we had a interaction with our colleague, and one of our colleagues said to us, so we were asking how much is their salary, because these are basically the things we are putting ourselves together to know exactly what our people are passing through in various local governments. I can tell you that some vice chairmen who do not even have a pair. Some vice chairmen, they don't pay them anything, they are just warming share. So basically, the forming of this association is for us to look at those welfare. So this, uh, our colleague, who is from somewhere in the East, said that his salary is about 800,000. Everybody is fashioned inside the hall. So how can the salary of vice chairman be 800,000? How? He now started pointing them out. From there, we took it up. We were able to resolve some issues. Secondly, when we tell our members, or what would you let them inform our members? If you check in Nigeria political equation, it's hardly for you to see anybody who they say is a former vice chairman, except by God's grace. So, what it simply means that once you finish your vice chairman, it ends there. And some of us will say, no, no, you're not supposed to be so. So, we let our members know look, politics is not a means of livelihood. You must look for something to do it as an individual. Politics is not a business, let me tell you. Politics is a means of serving your people. And service is not meaning acquiring of wealth. So you must have a business you are doing. We even went as far as trying to procure loan, agri loan for our people through the CBN and Cobra program to give our people those who want to go into farming. We, we, we put all this program together because we don't want a situation whereby people will come and dress my colleagues that uh, vice chairman has been time. Inshallah, we can never be <laughs> So, my colleagues, the Excellencies, the Executive Chairman of various local governments in Nigeria, we are here once again for you to brainstorm. Discuss issues that will affect you in your various local governments. In my capacity as the chairman of board of trustees, I will continue. I have stepped down, but I have not stepped aside. Because in life, everything has a beginning, must have the one they have an end. So my tenure ended, and I hand over to my deputy, who is also doing wonderfully well. He will agree with me. But as a woman, she needs all the support from every one of us for us to succeed. What we are trying to do here, we don't want whereby the association will be centered around one individual. So when that individual is out, the association dies. No, I'm happy that my colleagues are here from a different part of Nigeria today. It simply shows that the association did not live with me, and the association was only with her. 
children yet to come will inherit this association. So, but the only way we can make it happen is to show commitment and make sacrifices. Just like we have talked, we came from all different parts of Nigeria to come together here to discuss issues that affect us, and also not just issues that affect us, to add our voice, to add our voice to natural development. I had a letter with me when I was the chairman, I think it's still the, uh, the present chairman today. I will tell you, and go anywhere and beat your chest. It was our lobby and agitation made the president announce that global government to have autonomy. I have the letter from Nigeria Financial Intelligence Unit. They wrote us a letter. So, what I'm saying is that this association is not about us, but we must also aid our voice in the development of our dear nation, Nigeria. He also agree with me that insecurity is leveraging the country and the most hit of this insecurity are local governments. And what are we supposed to do? Because you're a vice chairman doesn't mean you don't have your own initiative. You run on a joint ticket with your chairman and we have not come here to encourage you to go and start fighting anybody. Please, if you fight anybody on your own, nobody will fight for you. Because in politics, that is what they call hierarchy. In our language, they say, Ko Akidangia Ananibata. So, our loyalty must be 100% our chairman. But that doesn't mean you will be stupid in your office. When I was, chairman, when I was vice chairman of Abuja Municipal Area Council, I will tell you something for free. There is no decision my chairman will take in the council without sending for me to call so that we can rub mine together. It's simple because I have capacity. If you don't have capacity, nobody will look for you. So don't see yourself as just vice chairman every month you collect salary of 200,000 naira and go home. You must contribute your quota so that when you are not there tomorrow, people will say, this is the idea of this vice chairman when he was there. So I want to encourage you, my colleagues, the executive vice chairman, they have come to Abuja. Abuja is a very safe place. You relax, the resource people will listen to them, will do the needful, and will do what we're supposed to do. And let me also announce to you clearly here, expressly, just like I told you that I am the board chairman, the BOT chairman, board of trustees chairman. This association is not also its own. This association has four legs and is started on the ground with the map. <laughs> so after the conference today, the board of trustee members and executive members also look at issues and also follow into letter. So but I can assure you, when we wanted to register the association, we thought we were alone. We were not alone in this movement. But let me also bring to you, finally, before I hand over the microphone, this association has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with politics. If you are PDP or YPP, you keep it to your area council. We don't do politics. We have no political affiliation. We see ourselves as brothers and sisters, as colleagues. So when you see us, I don't say we are a PDP member. We don't have anybody who is playing politics who have contributed one code to us. If they are saying, let, let the person prove me wrong. Because we rejected it in total. Because we know that once you bring politics into it, everyone, everybody will hear, go. So I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for your audience. Let me also sincerely appreciate the Association Chairman, Princess Kola Shade, who has been doing wonderful work. Well. She's a woman, woman, a woman, man. She's doing wonderful work. Well. God bless you as you call. Maybe after the program, some of us will still have personal interaction. God bless you and thank you very much. You have seen the rules of Abuja very well, very many moments in Abuja. No thanks to the good support
That is time to get to one that's given to his chairman and the administration. May we appreciate the beautiful chair of this wonderful association, the press of our dear honorable Lawrence Ongju. Thank you so much, uh, Inikodu, and of course, all of you across the country, Nigeria. At this point in time, we have come to a situation where we have decided to be. The Almighty Creator says, My people, really the essence, thrust, and focus of this auspicious conference. There are three papers to be so presented. One will be presented by uh, the Honorable Amino Mwazu Meifata Argon Chairman Nasarawa State. The second will be presented um, the topic will be grassroots empowerment as a rules in good governments by Mr. Flexible Lady Uchi Oham. Now, before this uh, focused, fixated, receptive to that knowledge that is coming from that bank of knowledge being transmitted onto you, may I respectfully welcome our dear Professor A from the Federal University of Keshua, Yobe State, for the first conference presentation. <laughs> you may be seated, sir. Uh, the state that uh, all this is coming, they are the one to come in, 
from local government that are in that state. Ordinarily, the COVID-19 pandemic has opened for the past 20 years of uh, uh, investment that has been put in the local government. And even uh, progress made by the government, the private sector, and international organizations, employment workers, and many other um, philanthropists in the development of our dear nation, Nigeria, and the world at large. And it's which plenty, not just Nigeria, not just the local government where we represent, but everywhere in the world, especially developing countries. Africa has experienced a forward. And we continue to see that we impact the lives of these people that we're working with. So, those are some of the things that I'll be looking at this morning to ensure that we're going to leave a good thing. After leaving the office, people will say, Oh, yes, you will remember for one thing that we're able to impact the lives of the people. Therefore, Algor has a critical role to play in bringing to its people the evidence of democracy through mobilization of people and resources for rapid grassroots rural development with, uh, with special reference to self-help projects, farm production, economy empowerment, particularly towards women and girls. Yes. Uh, when, when we empower women, or when we identify the needs that uh, women desire in our communities, in our local government, we're able to have like a sustainable impact. That after our regime, the next chairman that is coming on board will be able to say, oh, these social people were empowered. And so now, they can be able to see a visible impact that we made during your tenure. Therefore, I'm going to be looking at um, key considerations in delivering good governance to the people. I remember one of the projects I worked on, funded by FCTO. The, the project intends to, you know, to empower young women and girls. And then, because we were trying to meet up with uh, a, a timeline, we now went on the field and then um, speak with um, women and girls, the project beneficiaries. And then uh, many of them were given, uh, supported by a, 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 a private sector. Most time when private sector want to be in your program, they want to tell you that, oh, this is what we want to do, and you have to do it. They are also looking at their social corporate responsibility. So it was a very renowned company that produces milk. What they did was that they said, oh, all the project beneficiaries want to give them cartons of milk to be selling. And we now gave out the cartons of milk to the people in the, at the community. And then we're expecting them to sell it and then go back and restore. So it's a way of like trying to impact them. And, and then, Many of the girls that received those uh, milk, uh, the cartons of milk said that, oh, sorry, in my community, people don't buy this type of milk. It's very, it's too expensive. Yes, they said it's too expensive. So people were not buying. Rather than buying, they are, uh, selling the milk, the beneficiaries were drinking the milk. So what it means is that Sometimes when you do a top bottom approach, your project will not succeed. It means that you're bringing a project that will not be able to succeed, will not be able to impact the life of the people you're serving. Then we do both bottom and top approach to be able to impact the life of our people. So, I'm excited, I'm elated, seeing all my brothers and sisters all over the world today, and all over the country today, and everybody not giving up at the entity of Nigeria. 
knowing that we have no other. Most times, we tend to envy other brands because we feel it's real. We are here to tell ourselves what I want and make sure that Nigeria becomes a new great nation. Your hand can go front. Your hand can go front. Your hand can go front. Thank you. 